welcome back. Well, if you're Kayla Moore, you're probably dealing with a little bit of allergies this week because that's what it's been like. Mine just went and just got over mine yesterday, if not the day before, but that change in pressure and the allergies that everyone seems to get right around this time of the year, that first Two weeks of September, last two weeks of August kind of hits everybody hard and it's hitting you right now for sure. Yeah, it's been, um, for me, it's been a battle and it's always a battle for me. I have um, allergies in general and then seasonal allergies on top of that. And it's very common for those of us that have allergies or just seasonal allergies to see that uptick this time of year because like you mentioned, change in pressure, change in temperatures and conditions. We have um, summer flowers and blooming things kind of fizzling out and those fall flowers starting to come up. And so we're dealing with new pollen and things like that. And, and now we have to add farmers getting out in their fields to start harvesting, which I know they're working hard. And um, I just put the air circulation option in my yeah. car on and just make sure I keep my inhaler on me and take that allergy medication because that is what is holding me together these few days. <laughs> so here's what it looks like outside right now from Bethany Lutheran College in Mankato. If you're like me and struggling, maybe you've been dealing with like the cough or the sneezes, the sniffles, maybe even the watery eyes for me. Unfortunately, that's been all of the above. It's going to continue for the next few days, and that's because we are dealing with these warmer temperatures still in the area, as well as a little bit of wildfire smoke. Now, that wildfire smoke is not affecting us down here at the surface, which is good. It is mostly above us at the head, but I'll show you what that forecast is going to look like and why I say mostly good for us. Temperature-wise, very comfortable out there this morning. We are anywhere in the low 50s all the way up into the low 60s. We are seeing as low as 50 degrees in Forest City with 54 in Mason City and Esterville. We're seeing 56 degrees in Hutchinson with 58 degrees in Glencoe and St. James. However, we're sitting at 60 degrees here in Mankato with 61 in Owatonna, Albert Lee, Wyndham and Worthington, 62 coming in at the warmest in Marshall and St. Peter. Winds a little bit different than yesterday. They were already breezy at this time yesterday morning, whereas here this morning we're seeing light winds across the area coming out of the south, southeast, anywhere from calm conditions up to 10 miles an hour. Here's a look at satellite radar imagery. Really not a whole lot going on through the overnight hours into this morning. We've had clear skies, quiet conditions, and that's going to continue as we take a look at your precipitation chances for the next seven days. We've got dry conditions all the way through Saturday, and then as we make our way into and through next week, we are going to see an increased chance for isolated showers. Again, that means not everybody's going to see them. These are chances that aren't going to span across the entire southern Minnesota or northern Iowa area. It's going to be kind of hit or miss, but it is something that we are watching closely because as we take a look at our drought monitor, for southern Minnesota and northern Iowa. This has been great f all summer long because of all that rain we had early on in the year and things like that. But unfortunately, we've been having that lack of rain and we're continuing to see that lack of rain. So what that means for us is, well, we've got those abnormally dry conditions starting to expand into the area from northwestern Iowa into southwestern Minnesota and then portions of northeastern Iowa as well. Thankfully, these are just abnormally dry conditions. However, there is a chance that these could get a little bit worse and expand a little bit more due to the fact that we are looking at really only isolated chances. As of right now, that's not going to be enough to really help our dry conditions. But again, thankfully, it's only abnormally dry and not seeing those exceptionally dry conditions. Now, your forecast planner for today, really not a whole lot going on. Lots of sunshine in store for us as temperatures rise to a high of 86 degrees by this afternoon. Now, with this sunshine, we are going to notice those hazy skies. And a few moments ago, I said we are mostly okay with our air quality. Now, that being said, do not panic. We are not looking at reduced air quality or air quality alerts in our area. The reason I say that is because you can see we've got this little bit of yellow that stretches all the way down from northern Minnesota to here in southern Minnesota or southwestern Minnesota. That can affect very a very, very, very small group of individuals. The, these groups of individuals are extra sensitive to things like wildfire smoke or smoke in general. So it's not everybody. Um, again, this doesn't actually even affect me with how severe my allergies are from time to time. So that's good for me and maybe good for some of you to hear as well. But again, it can affect a small portion of the, the population here in southern Minnesota. Now, if you have friends or family up in northwestern Minnesota, or you're going to be heading up that way going into the rest of today. They are in that orange zone, which is unhealthy for some. These areas you're going to want to kind of limit your time outside this afternoon. If you are going to be up there or you have friends or family, you might just want to let them know. Tonight will be comfortable and clear with a low of 59 degrees by tomorrow morning. Here's a quick look at your extended forecast. Mid 80s today and tomorrow. 
dropping into the low 80s by Saturday. And then from there, we're going to hover anywhere from the upper 70s, low 80s, as those isolated shower chances return to the area. Stay tuned. We'll wrap things up after the